Remember the Sabotra crash from yesterday? Well, everyone on X was quoting this post that said that it was the fault of the Wale, but now we are hearing that it was not. It was the owner of the truck who was driving. There is also a report that the wall outside the Beverly Hills Hotel has been transported to the hospital after getting into a crash with a cyber truck. Goldman Sachs just put out this research note. Is the price right? The case for Tesla to be more selective on the US price cuts. This is an analysis on EV pricing and the subsidies from the government. EV pricing has been a key focus for investors with the price reductions from OEMs creating questions about demand elasticity and profit implications as well as on EV affordability and EV share compared to ICE and hybrid vehicles. They make three main points in the report. Number one, we believe that Tesla and Rivian should generally be firm with pricing in the US based on our analysis of elasticity of demand and profits and the relative attractiveness of EV pricing for certain models, especially with the $7,500 tax credits, although targeted price reductions coupled with reduced features and the bill of materials cost could be logical for entry-level trims. Number two, BEVs are a competitive option for at least a mid-teens percent of the US market or twice the current penetration rates. We remain positive on long-term EV demand in the US, although recognize that EV growth is slower in the near term to intermediate term. We also continue to expect strong hybrid and plug-in hybrid growth. Number three, while we take no view on the outcome of the upcoming elections in the US, we estimate that reducing the number of vehicles eligible for IRA credits, which could occur with a change in the presidential administration, could affect five to 15 percent of the EV demand and repealing the IRA, which would require both congressional and presidential support, could affect 10 to 30 percent of demand, although we'd expect the impact to reduce over time. Importantly, we believe that global regulatory policies and improved EV costs and choice over time would still be supportive of long-term EV growth, obviously. When it comes to pricing, I think the most important thing that Tesla can focus on is bringing the next generation vehicle as fast as possible. In the meantime, some investors are actually enjoying this Tesla stop buying opportunity. For example, AJ says, Dear Tesla panic seller, I wanted to take a moment to express my sincere gratitude for your recent selling of Tesla stock. Your actions have unlocked a significant discount and made a significant impact on me and others and I am generally appreciative of your kindness. Your generosity not only brightened my day but also served as a source of inspiration. I am grateful for the positive impact you have had on me and others. Thank you for being such an emotionally driven investor and for creating a positive and encouraging environment for others and myself. I look forward to your future actions and kindness. <laughs> to me it's starting to sound like Many people and the market even to some degree starting to think that Tesla's next generation vehicle is going to be severely delayed many more times or if it does come out it will not really sell well. To which I would say uh, that was not the case at all with the Model 3 and the Model Y to mass market vehicles. I did not buy Tesla stock based on what it just did yesterday or a week before, a month before. I buy it based on what I think Tesla will do in the next 10 years. But I think there are quite a few investors or traders or gamblers that sell more the lower the stock goes and buy more the more the stock goes up. That's generally a recipe for a disaster. These people should stick to buying index funds.